This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is availability check and missing parts. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are, we will see settings for the availability check for reservations. So in our previous classes, we covered reservations. Okay, in the inventory management topic, we covered extensively reservations. So for that reservations, how to do availability check, we will cover today. Okay, then what is static availability check? Okay. What is static availability check, how it works, we will discuss. Then dynamic availability check, what is dynamic availability check and what settings we need to do, we will understand. Purpose of missing parts check, so we will understand what is missing parts check, how to do, uh, why it is used. Then settings for the missing parts check. So to activate the functionality missing parts check, what settings we need to do in the system, we will understand. Okay, so these are the topics we will be covering in the, in the availability check and missing parts check. Okay, so first we'll start with the availability check. So when you create a reservation, when you create a reservation, you want to be informed if the quantity you need is not available on the desired date okay so normally if you recollect our previous sessions we create reservation with using transaction mb21 try to recollect our inventory management reservation classes sessions there we created reservation using transaction mb21 so when you create the reservation we we enter the date okay we enter a date on which date we need the material okay so when you are creating that reservation with the date requirement date you want to inform you want to get informed whether the stock is available or not on that particular date okay you want to get informed so for that you need availability check okay to achieve this you must set up the availability check for reservations so to have that function to have that provision to have that facility you need to activate availability check I will show you this in the system what settings we need to make how it works i'll show you that okay so let's continue with some theory part then we will go into the system okay there are two types of availability check okay one is static availability check next one is dynamic availability check okay static availability check availability check of the stock types in inventory management so it just checks whether stock is available or not that's all okay i will explain in detail i will also show it in the system okay whereas check of available dynamic availability check means check of available stocks from the viewpoint of mr so this are dynamic availability check a, along with the stock existing physical stock it will check other things like what are the receipts what are the issues we have planned all those things it will take into consideration we, i will show you in detail i will explain in detail and i will show it in the system also so basically here we have two types of checks basically okay. so availability check so here we have two things one is static static availability check static availability check next one is dynamic availability check dynamic availability check so the static availability check let's first let's see the theory part okay so first we'll start with the static availability check okay so in static availability check in static availability check the stocks existing at the time of entry are taken into account. Please mute down. Please mute yourself. Somebody, somebody is unmuted. Please mute yourself. Please. Okay. This check is carried out automatically and no settings can be made it for the system. So the static availability check automatically available will be available in the system. We don't have to do any any settings in the system. Okay, it's a standard, it's a standard one. Okay, automatically.
response okay. and and no extra settings no extra settings required okay. that is a static availability check okay it covers it covers the relevant stock affected at plant storage location and special stock level okay the stocks affected are determined via the movement type non availability leads to an error message so you just consider what is the stock present in that storage location in that plant and unless you are issuing some special stock the stocks affected are determined via movement type so movement type will be decided movement type will decide what stock to consider and if there is a non availability of stock it leads to an error message okay i'll show you this diagram you will understand okay suppose let's say today today in my warehouse i have 100 pieces of stock unrestricted use stock approved stock okay okay so now suppose let's say from this from this i want to issue 60 pieces today today itself so in static availability check in static availability check it will just check the stock so i want to issue i want i need 60 pieces i need 60 pieces okay then already i have 100 pieces so there is no problem here so in case of static availability check it is okay it is okay okay so i will come to the remaining portion dynamic availability check in a minute First, let me show you this in the system okay so let me log into the system okay so let me take a little i have logged into the s4 hana system is s4 hana system okay let me take a material okay so let me take this material okay if you take this material go to its stock overview i will go to its stock overview let, let us check the stock maybe enter the material enter the plant just execute okay so here what is the stock now what is the inventory 100 liter this material in this plant triple zero one in the location thousand the stock is 100 so we have physically 100 liter stock is available suppose let's say i want to issue this stock okay so let me do some goods issue i'll go to Miko. i'll go to Miko. okay let us try to do some goods issue goods issue System is slow today. I don't know. See, system is starting to become slow. Okay, let me log in again. Not sure what is the problem. Go to me, go into the material and this triple zero one. This is the stock. Okay, so let me let me do the goods issue. Okay. So it's a goods issue, other movement type is two zero one. Okay, so let's try to issue the stock. So if I take the material, enter the material here, quantity. Let's say I want to issue 50. To a constant so quantity 50 where plant storage location so the storage location is thousand okay that's okay account assignment i'll enter the constant so our stock is 100 we are trying to issue 50 
so in this case if i go for check what system says everything is okay okay system is just checking the stock that's all okay so we have stock 100 we are trying to do issue 50 so system is saying okay suppose let's say i want to issue 200 